Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm actually in Walmart. I'm very uncomfortable filming in public, but I'm braving this because I really wanted to show you 10 things you should never buy at Walmart. The first organizing product that I definitely do not recommend, I hate these with a passion, are these three drawer things. I've had a few clients that these work for, like bees sometimes. So if you're like, I love these things, I'm not shaming you. But what I normally see is that these get filled with absolute junk. They collect trash. You don't know what's in them. They're not really great for toys. The drawers don't come out. They're not portable and they just get shoved full of so much stuff. They usually are filled with like broken crayons and coloring books. And look at this price, $42 for a crap catcher. There is way better options here for organizing your stuff. I want to wheel this right in the trash. I want to have a bonfire of three drawer, drawer bins out, out back. A way better option here at Walmart for organizing all of your kids like coloring, utensils, crayons, I don't know, markers, is a cleaning caddy. These are just $5. They're super durable. They already have compartments, but you can add solo cups to them to make even more. So have spots for markers and crayons and everything they need. This is going to stay organized unlike those three drawered abominations. All right, this is my second most hated organizer of all time. It's a toy organizer that has like this flimsy frame and these bins that kind of sit in them. I know you've seen these before. These are mess makers. That's what I call them, mess makers. Because if a kid even bumps into this or is trying to like take a bin out or put something back, they always fall off and spill all over the floor. Plus, they're not very big. They're not very durable. I cannot stand these. The concept for visual organizers is amazing. The execution, not so much. Plus 60 freaking dollars for a couple dollar store bins and a flimsy frame. Please, please don't buy these. They are a waste of money. A way better option for organizing toys is a cube organizing system just like this. So this is $70, so it's a little bit more money, but worth it. It's way more durable and it's not gonna create a mess like that other toy organizing system. Grab some of these storage cubes, pop on like a picture label and you are good with toy organization forever. Plus, as your kids grow, this can transition into clothing or any other type of storage. It's just way better than the thing that falls. Even this option, this six cube organizer, it isn't as expensive as the wood one. It's a little flimsy, but it's still gonna be a way better option than that bucket, that crap a bucket system over there. So for this one, that's $40, grab a couple of the insert bins. You're still gonna be the same price as the other organizer, but it's gonna be way more functional. Okay, just one more thing about cube organizers. They have this wire one. Again, it's very similar to this one. It's a little bit cheaper, $7 cheaper, but this is not sturdy enough for kids. It falls apart very, very easily. So great for like a laundry room, not great for high use every day. Go with this one. It's $7 more, but way more sturdy. So know your cube organizers and choose wisely. All right, let's talk about medium sized bins. These I, when I saw the price of these, I couldn't believe it. They are normally $9. Right now they're on clearance for five still. You can get this exact same bin right now at Dollar Tree for $1.25. If you're looking for a medium size decorative bin, just don't, don't go to Walmart. I feel bad saying that, but these are so expensive. Now these ones, they have a pack of 10, these Sterilite with the ceiling lid, these are $20 for 10, making them $2 each. These are better quality than you're gonna find at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. So these are a yes, these are a no. This entire aisle is a ripoff, okay? I came down this section. It's like the kitchen, I guess, organization section, drawer liners, the, the stick tack, all of this. $10. You're going to find the exact same thing at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And then I just about 
had a heart attack when I saw the prices for drawer dividers. And I kid you not, these are the exact same drawer dividers you're gonna find at the Dollar Tree. The exact same ones with the interlocking. They have the ones with the rubber bottom. They feel the exact same, but these are $7 instead of $1.25. Crazy expensive. Even these like little babies that you're gonna find at the Dollar Tree, you're gonna get a pack of three at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 or pay $4 for one here. Absolute highway robbery. They have the clear acrylic, again, $12, $4. Yeah, they have the teal bottom, but same ones at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I keep saying this, we're repeating myself, but I just, I'm like blown away. Look at this, these look familiar. You guys, we know these are $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, so I don't know, just avoid this section of Walmart. This is, if you wanna get your kitchen organized, do not come here. $20, Canadian, $20, you guys. Outrageous, you can get a dish pan, I'm gonna say it, but for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. This whole aisle, it's stressing me out, it's so expensive. Nothing hurts my heart more than coming down the decorative basket aisle because, stop it. I love me a woven basket. This floppy jalopy thing is $14.95. The container store's Water Hyacinth Bin, which has a metal frame, far better, gorgeous woven, four times bigger, is also $14.99. So yeah, the container store has better prices on the woven bins than Walmart. These are crazy. Like the Water Hyacinth Bin, is equivalent to this, and personally, I like the Water Hyacinth better. This is $26. You're gonna get this for 14 from the container store. So if you are looking for beautiful woven baskets, don't come to Walmart, sorry Walmart. But it's just, un the, the selection isn't great, and there's so much more money. And they have like the felt floppy jalopy ones too. You can get these on Amazon for a fraction of the price. This entire section is at least four times more than it is at like even the container store. Look at this sad deformed basket for $15. <laughs> this is the only one that has me intrigued. This is saying $14.97. And if this big neat freak tote is $14, that's a good price. So I'm actually gonna find a scanner and I'm gonna scan this because I don't see a scanner on this. Maybe somebody just dropped it here. But even this one, I mean, if this is $14, that's a good price. Let's go check it out. No, wah, wah. I found them. They're $22 here. These big Neat Freak bins. I'm gonna say I love Neat Freak. It's a great company and this is actually a pretty good price for this deep, this would be like a perfect tidy tote. This is, an, this is a pretty good price. This aisle's got me a little excited. There's a bunch of people, so I'm gonna be quick, but you know how I love my tidy tote and they can't sell it anywhere anymore? Look what I found. It's a laundry tote that's collapsible, that has the straps. It doesn't have the pockets on the side, but it's regularly $18 on for 14. This is a good find. I'm excited about this. This makes a perfect tidy tote for $14. You probably want to pick one of these up. I think every drawer needs drawer dividers. I love some drawer dividers, especially if you're like me and you just want to shove things in your drawer fast, but have it stay organized. But the Walmart name brand drawer dividers are kind of expensive. $10 and up for these. The quality isn't great. You're going to find really better ones for less money out at Amazon. That's where I would recommend going for anything that's like a drawer divider that's soft for clothing like this. But that being said, there is a brand that I love called Neat Freak at Walmart. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just really love Neat Freak. I don't know if it's a Canadian thing, but if you have a closet and you, you're renting or you don't have a huge budget, they have all of these like hanging things to double your storage and create shelving and bins and just it's a good brand for a good price and it's gonna really last because the quality is amazing. So the Walmart brand drawer dividers are a no, the Neat Freak are a yes. Paper organization, believe it or not, is a lot cheaper at office supply stores than it is here at Walmart. All of these file folders, they're just like your basic ones. You're gonna find them 
half or like even cheaper at a Staples or any other office supply store, even on Amazon, buying them online. Same as like accordion file folders. They have the identical one as this. I know it for a fact at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. This one's $7. This one's $12. I know it has this fancy hook thing, but $1.25, you're gonna get almost identical without the hook thing. So save your money. And if you're looking for an accordion folder, go somewhere else. But I do love this big accordion file folder. I have a bunch of these. I love these. You're only really gonna find these at Walmart. They're big, they're sturdy. They, they just look like part of your decor. They have not a huge selection today, but they have this nice gold striped one. Like this is something you could have on your kitchen counter and it's pretty, it's $17, but I love that it looks like, it looks pretty, I guess. So I feel like that's worth the money and you're not gonna find anything like this anywhere else. If you're coming to Walmart because you want notebooks or planners, don't do it, okay? These notebooks, these spiral notebooks, $10. Obviously you can find them a lot cheaper at the dollar store or even online. But what really, really shocked me was all of their planners, so expensive. I'm not a huge planner person, but I know a lot of people do love using a good planner. And one of the most famous planners is the Happy Planner. It has a lot of stickers. It's perfect for like bees and crickets who want to get really detailed, but they're $45 here. The Happy Planner is expensive, but you're going to find this for about $10 less on Amazon. So save your money and buy planners and notebooks somewhere else. We all want more storage in our house, especially like in basements or garages. So we're tempted to pick up shelving and the resin shelving at Walmart is actually a really good price. The rollback right now is $40. So we're like, we see that, we get excited. Here's the issue with the Walmart resin shelving. It actually isn't like the distance of the spacing between the shelves isn't big enough for a standard tote. So if you have Christmas totes or something you need to store and you already have the containers, they're not going to fit on this shelving, which is why you see in the picture, it doesn't show any totes on it. So yeah, it's cheap, but it's not, it, it's great for a pantry or like pantry overflow, but you're not going to hold a tote on there. You would have to buy like the half totes in order to make it fit. So again, you're spending more money on new bins. Is it worth it? Probably not. If you need more storage for big containers, go to Costco. Costco has really inexpensive resin shelving. That's the perfect size for totes. The last thing that I think is crazy overpriced, do not buy this at Walmart, are there laundry hampers, like a basic boring old laundry hamper, $27. They have a white one here that's like a half size, so it's a little bit smaller. $22.97, my heart, you guys, for a laundry basket. I just couldn't believe it. You, I can't find one here for less than $22, which it's a staple in a house. It's a little bit of plastic. If you're looking for laundry hampers, go to bargain stores. Like we have something called the Giant Tiger here. You're gonna find laundry hampers there for about four or $5, way cheaper than Walmart. I'm gonna admit something to you now that this video is over. I only shop online at Walmart because I'm a sucker, man. I'm a sucker for all the cute stuff. I come here for groceries and then end up with $200 worth of nonsense. And it's usually like bunny plates. <gasps> Look at the tablecloth or this little butter dish. I don't even keep butter out, but who doesn't want this? I have to go. I can't, you cannot come home with me. Joe will kill maybe just it's a ramekin. What could I use this? Walk away, yes. Walk away. These like risers that you put, they're tangled. Shh, people are coming. Okay, wait, wait. I'm okay. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I'm in my basement. I don't have any lights. Listen, we're watching The Last of Us, my husband and I, and I love zombie movies. And every time I watch anything that's like zombie apocalypse, end of the world, I'm always so confident that I'm going to nail it. Like I'm going to slay it. Um, we had an ice storm a couple of days ago and it knocked out our electricity. I am not thriving. I am not slaying it. I wouldn't make it in the apocalypse. 
I can do no oven. I can handle not like having lights even. I cannot handle not having the internet. For some reason, it knocked out like the 5G tower too. So don't even have cell service. Can't even hotspot my phone. Can't surf the web, watch the internet. There is nothing to do. And it's always so shocking. My kids and I were not the brightest because we're like, you know, every time we walk in a room, not only do we flick on the lights, but we also are like, oh man, I wish I could watch, can't watch TV, can't even listen to the radio, can't even, we're like, Alexa. Oh yeah, there's no Alexa. <laughs> the first night was fine. Lots of candles. I had a hot shower because we still have gas in the pitch black. That was fine. The next morning, I went through all the stages of grief. There was a lot of crying in this house, a lot of screaming, a lot of trying to bargain with the sky, mostly from me. I am addicted to the internet. I need it, and I would not survive in the apocalypse without it. I'm just saying, we had COVID. COVID was scary. We stayed in our house. We just had to eat snacks and watch the web. Somehow, I fared better then than without electricity for a few days. <laughs> it's fine. I'm fine. I'm, it's going to be fine. We played board games. I've read books. What else is there to do? It was so bad weather. We couldn't even go anywhere. We couldn't drive. The roads were icy. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. Let me know in the comments below if you could live without the internet. I would trade the heat. I would trade the hot water. I would trade lights. Just give me the internet, guys. Just give Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.